Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be going through and reviewing Elementary OS 5.0 UNO. We'll first explore its contents and everything that it has to offer with its default desktop environment, and then I'll go ahead and give it some ratings. My first impressions here are pretty good. I like uh, the look and feel of this Linux distribution because it kind of resembles uh, Mac OS to me. Uh, it's got uh, the dock here at the bottom and a nice uncluttered desktop environment and uh, the background image uh, seems really crisp. Uh, I went ahead and changed the resolution and after I did uh, it looks quite amazing actually. Let's take a quick look around right now. So first off what I noticed was uh, I can't seem to highlight anything whenever I click down and I try moving across the screen it doesn't really highlight so that's that's interesting. Not even sure if you can put stuff here on the background or not, if you have desktop applications applications or uh, whatever. So um, another thing I noticed right away was the dock here at the bottom uh, gives you um, options such as multitasking view. So this seems to be just uh, workspaces that you can select from if you have multiple ones. Uh, and then it has this unique Epifani browser here. I haven't seen that uh, or used it before. Uh, I'm not sure if other Linux distributions have it. I guess uh, I'll figure that out while I'm going through more of these uh, reviews. And uh, then we have uh, mail, a calendar, music, videos, photos, system settings, and the App Center, which you can also get to using this up here in the left corner, Applications. Uh, you can slide through between these applications here and. Uh, again, get to the App Center and a few other things here like Gparted uh, to partition your uh, hard disks if you need to. Grab a screenshot or open up a terminal. So Elementary OS is a Ubuntu-based stable release branch that uses its own custom desktop environment called uh, Pantheon. Uh, this is the default desktop environment and it seems to make it geared more towards uh, Mac OS users and Windows users too because it seems very uncluttered. Um, as you'll see as we're going through this, um, it's very Mac OS user friendly. So um, another thing I noticed that was very interesting and in why it's Mac OS friendly is if you hit the command uh, button you will get keyboard shortcuts and you have different shortcuts much like you would have on a, a Mac OS computer. Um, such things as like uh, I know command space brings up the search and it seems like it brings up the applications menu in here um, and then you can lock your screen zoom in and out using the command feature um, yeah just a lot of little shortcuts here that you can use which uh, makes it kind of unique I do like this um, of course other Linux distributions have shortcuts but uh, I believe these are more unique for this elementary OS Linux distribution so go ahead and uh, take a moment to like the video if you're in this far, it really does help me. Uh, and let's actually explore something that I saw earlier in applications. Uh, what I saw was, I saw code somewhere, yes, right here. So there's this code app that seems to come with the uh, elementary OS. It's kind of neat because it's just a simple, well, well text editor. Uh, but uh, it has some built-in syntax highlighting, so let's just try using uh, the C++ one. Okay, and we'll just do a very simple application, so as we're, we'll do um, a hello world. Let's see, uh, include IO stream, uh, and then we'll just do a main, Forget. Oops. Don't forget the end in front. Uh, no arguments here for main, and then we will just spit out. Uh, let's see. Well, standard. See out. Hello world. And a new line. That should be good. I don't think I'm missing anything. Uh, let's see, save the sucker. Okay. Main, let's see, pp. 
save that. So I'm very interested if it's gonna pop up here in the background uh, on the desktop. So I got desktop here. And if I hit save, oh, cancel. It's acting like it's gonna replace that. I must have clicked it on accident. Let's uh, do main CPP again. And then save. I'm not sure how I got this to just disappear a moment ago, but that was interesting. So yeah, you don't see anything in the background. So I guess, let's see, if I start the terminal, I can run that main CPP file. So let me do that real quick. Terminal, so I'm already here on desktop. I will do, let's see, G++ plus plus, uh, main CPP, and we'll output this as main. Very good, compiled, so there we go, hello world. All right, that works. And now that I've, and now that I've looked at and noticed this uh, terminal, uh, I think it looks pretty neat. It um, has a nice color palette to it. I do like the green and the blue accent, very easy on the eyes, and it has a darker scheme for the overall terminal. I like that. And uh, let me see what happens when we log in as the super user here. Oops, uh, okay, so seems like the uh, the user and the host name here get uh, the gray color instead of this green color or olive color. So that's interesting. Sometimes they like to highlight uh, root and red <laughs> if you log in as the uh, root user, just kind of warning you almost that uh, you have super privileges at that point. Uh, we'll exit out of the terminal here and that's interesting. Quit terminal, yeah, I want to quit terminal. Um, so this is, I kind of like this very simplistic um, text editor here. Uh, they call it code. And it has, again, a bunch of syntax highlighting. So you can go through all of these yourself, but there seems to be quite a, quite a lot of different syntaxes built in. It's uh, very cool, very nice for programmers if they want to just get in, start programming right away. Um, see what else we got if we get into system settings uh, all the normal stuff that you would expect to be here um, let's see the mouse the keyboard display properties all that fun stuff it looks very similar to uh, what you would see in Ubuntu if I remember right and then let's see this is to maximize it to minimize and what else we got so if we go here Google it's defaulting, no thanks. Seems like any other web browser that you would find. Um, it's got a tabs and you got your maximize here and we'll exit out of that. Nothing really impressive there. Um, some of these other applications that they've developed for themselves, uh, let's see, I believe videos is something that they built specifically for elementary OS. Uh, I don't really have any videos on here, so I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna check out music real quick. Uh, looks, well, similar to Apple Music, if I'm being honest here. Uh, I'll exit out of here, and then let's just check out Calendar for the fun of it. Again, just similar maybe to the Mac OS Calendar, but it looks like any other typical calendar. And then in the top right corner, you have a few options where you can uh, log out, shut down here in the top right, uh, notifications if you want to be disturbed or not, the battery power, uh, your current internet connection settings, or I should say net, just the network settings in general. One thing I do want to say about this, uh, since it seems uncluttered, not a lot of background stuff happening here, um, my battery life is pretty good with this uh, operating system, uh, well, this distribution of Linux. So with that, all that said, I'm going to give it a few ratings here. The elementary OS is gaining in popularity as a Linux distribution, and because of this, I'll give it a popularity rating of 6 out of 10. It's simple to use, and since there's not a lot of clutter and it seems to focus on keeping the learning curve to a minimal when transferring from other operating systems, and how smooth it is to actually scroll, and also the fact that it resembles Mac OS, I'll give it a user friendliness rating of nine out of 10. 
since it does focus heavily on the overall experience for the user and doesn't really focus on raw performance, causing it to be a little more resource intensive, uh, this distribution gets a performance rating of uh, 5 out of 10, although I do like how long I've been able to uh, keep a charge on my laptop here. And then the distribution is based off Ubuntu, but they have their own custom applications, uh, so I'll just give it a feature rating of uh, 8 out of 10 here. Finally, it seems to have a nice but small community supporting it since, again, it's based off Ubuntu. You can use the resources available to the Ubuntu users as well as the ones that you'll get from the elementary OS team, but I'll only give it a sustainability rating of 4 out of 10. There's just so many other distributions out there, although it is unique in this Mac OS sense. Overall, that gives it a score of 32 out of 50. I hope you enjoyed this review and the walkthrough of Elementary OS 5.0 You know, Let me know if you think the rating system is fair, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thank you for watching.